Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to test the LTE Advanced Pocket Wi-Fi from Smart and the exact model is 4G Wireless Router FXPR4 from Evolution Incorporated USA. And let's try to check if it is already good for your home school or online school or work from home or maybe gaming, streaming, watching Netflix, watching YouTube. And let's try to check that one later. But now let's try to open what's inside this unit. And again, guys, this is purchased uh, for 995 pesos and it has a 100 MB of free internet. Maybe. Let's try to check and it has the SIM and giga for you i'm not sure let's try to read that one later and we have the unit itself and yes it's actually huge than uh, what i had expected so i chose the white one there is also the black one but the black one is out of stock for now but let's try to check if this is still a good option for our daily needs or maybe a backup let's try to check if there is already a button inside it's really hard to... Oh, that's USB. Sorry. Oh. Okay, no battery yet. And there is the SIM card tray. And let's try to check that one later. And it comes with a power brick. That's good. And also it has a... What's this? Oh, it's a Type-C cable. So this one is already a Type-C port for your charging. Yeah, that's good, better. And we have the battery separated from the unit. That is actually great because if you have stuck this unit for several hours or several days or several months, the battery might get damaged. And okay, I'll try to configure this one and show you later on the testing, okay? Okay guys, and we have already installed the SIM card on this packet Wi-Fi and also inserted the battery, powered it on. And we currently have 4G LTE Plus at around 1 to 2 bars of signal. I hope it will focus. Okay, and aside from that one, I found out that the only free data is around 25 or maybe it's 100 or I have used it earlier to test if it's working. So we only have now 21 MB of data, but you will be able to download the application Giga Live. For the Giga Live, you'll be able to check the information on uh, the details like how many free data, how many data or shareable data that you have. Okay, like this one, for example, there it is. And no load for now. And we have some information regarding this one. That's really good to check your usage on your pocket Wi-Fi. Okay. And aside from that one, we're going to do a live test on speed test. Okay. But for the download and upload, we have 18 and 12. I think that is good. Maybe let's try to check if we can uh, just browse some of my video and just hover on the timeline. Guys, this is actually running on 1080p. I'll try to and see if it will automatically play. Guys, it automatically plays so it was able to perform good on 1080p even though we're inside the house. Okay, right now we're going to do is actually test it on an open area, a roof deck to check if there is actually an improvement on the signal and the speed that we will get using this packet Wi-Fi. Okay guys, and we are on the roof deck and we're checking on our packet Wi-Fi Smart 4G LTE Plus. We have two to three bars of signal here on our roof deck. But let's try to check on the speed on speed test if it is better compared to the one we have tested earlier on our second floor. Okay, and I hopefully you're able to see the speed test. Okay guys, and we achieved 
25 Mbps of download speed while 24 Mbps of upload speed. But unfortunately, the ping is 31 ms and the jitter is 44 millisecond. And let's try to check if we can play a good online game. I apologize, there was a motorcycle uh, outside. But we're going to try to do a Mobile Legend game if we will be able at this we will be able to play or finish a decent game on Mobile Legends. Then after that one, maybe we can try also while playing Mobile Legend, hook up these two mobile devices and connect it to YouTube or stream a video online. Okay, guys, and right now I'm connected to the Smart Bro, if you can see, and I'm trying to load Mobile Legends. And unfortunately, I'll try to show you. It is not loading. I'm not really sure what happens, but I'll try to disconnect on <laughs> this is smart bro and try to reload Mobile Legends. Okay, right now I'll try to connect to my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. If you can see that one clearly. Then I'll try to load Mobile Legends again. Okay. And you see that one, I was able to load Mobile Legends without any issue using my converge connection. But I'll try to play a game. Okay guys, and it is raining and I'm trying to play Mobile Legend game and I'll try, this is a live recording. Okay, for the Mobile Legend game, I'm having two digit latency which is as low as 27 up to... Yeah, that one spike, 100 milliseconds, but most of the time it's green, two digit, then let's try to check if we're, yeah, we're still able to play, but uh, 1946 it keeps on jumping, but okay, yeah, that one, okay, aside from that one, let's try to check if we'll still be able to load a... YouTube video. Okay, and let's try to check JK Chavez. Okay. While waiting or while playing Mobile Legends here, I'm trying to load one of the mobile phones that I have and let's change the quality to advanced resolution. Then let's try to 1080p. Okay, guys, this is the 1080p. Yep. Oh, it's not for the folks. Okay, let's set an ATP. I'll try to zoom it and see if it loads faster. Yeah, that's good. This is on a 1080p resolution. We're still able to load a video on YouTube and at the same time play with really not good gaming experience. So maybe let's try to check another device. So this is just 720p and while playing YouTube video on this one, I'll try to play another YouTube video with just 720p and see if we will still have a good watching experience in here. Okay. okay, we have commercial. Okay, while waiting, this is still playing. And... Okay, we have a lot of commercials. Okay, right now. The resolution for this device is 360. I'll try to set to 720p. Okay, this is a 720p resolution while we have a mobile phone running with 1080p. Okay, let's try to check if we scroll and see if there is a lot of buffering. Yeah, it loads quickly because... Yeah. Actually, it works, and at the same time, our Mobile Legend is not that good gaming experience, but we're still able to play. 
or maybe it's just raining, the weather is not good. And there you have it guys, you have seen on how it performs, we tried Mobile Legends on the game earlier, tried to load the game, connected to this packet Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, it didn't load, I'm not really sure if there's an issue with the connection. Then what we have tried is disconnect from the packet Wi-Fi, connect to my local internet and load the Mobile Legends game. After the Mobile Legends game was loaded, we tried to play a game then connected back to the smart LTE Wi-Fi. And the gaming experience is not that great. Two digit to three digit latency, it peaks and it's not really great a game. It's not really a great gaming experience, but we're able to play the game. And the good thing is, aside from that gaming, we still loaded two YouTube video, 1080p resolution and 1720p resolution simultaneously with two devices while the game is loaded. Okay, we're able to have a good game, a good viewing or watching experience on YouTube when we try to move the bar or the time bar on YouTube. We're able to have a buffering that loads quick. It's not, it is not smooth, but it is quick, which is actually acceptable for me. And I like that performance during the YouTube video. Guys, it is a 25 Mbps connection, so it will be able to load a 4K streaming video. But for the two testing, 1080p and 720p resolution while gaming, it works great. I'm able, I'm satisfied with that performance. Okay, and aside from that one, we have tried Facebook Messenger, tried a video call with my sister here. Unfortunately, you won't hear the audio call because there's a limitation with the mobile application that I'm using on my phone. It won't record during a voice call or video call with my sister. But guys, the video quality is really good. Aside from the phone that I'm using, it's a P30 Pro. The uh, conversation which you are not able to hear, I was able to hear clearly my, what my sister is saying and she can hear me clearly on what I'm saying. Actually, it's a good performance. If you are having uh, online meetings, video call, video conferencing, it is actually good. And aside from that one, one of the negative things I find is uh, I left the smart packet Wi-Fi on the roof deck and tried to go here on the second floor. And the range of the packet Wi-Fi is not that great. I was not able to see the Wi-Fi connection coming from this smart packet Wi-Fi. That's the only negative side. And guys, if you are gaming, uh, like for example, not that live like uh, the gaming performance for Mobile Legends, uh, Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, Dota, those are actually real, those games really require low latency to be, to have a good gaming experience. If we're just playing uh, Rise of Kingdom, uh, Axie, um, Plus versus Undead, and other uh, games, Online games that are not, does not require low latency, this is still a good option. Okay, uh, will I recommend this packet Wi-Fi? Yes, actually this is a good packet Wi-Fi for me in case uh, if you don't have a local internet service provider around you, they don't have a, another line open for you, this is a great option. And I will be using this one or taking this one in my arsenal in case if my wife is working from home and we had an issue with our local internet service provider. This will be useful. It will work great. We have tried a Zoom earlier. I didn't record that, day, but the voice messenger or the video call messenger with my sister, it actually works great. So this is a good option. And aside from that one, uh, before buying a packet Wi-Fi, Smart Globe, Dito, Converge, or any uh, wireless uh, device or packet Wi-Fi, try to check if there is a good signal on your area for that internet service provider. Because Smart uh, in our area, I think it's medium or moderate because I was able to receive a 25 or 25 Mbps upload and download, I think the connection in my area is good, but not that great. But there are areas that there are no signal from smart, and there might be some areas where you are near the tower from smart, and it will give you a better experience or 
better internet experience or connection and always try to research first before buying these kind of devices so your money won't be wasted and i think that is all guys i hope you like the video if you have question and suggestion don't forget to comment below or maybe message me up fb my fb page and guys if you're following my fb page there is a raffle for the old routers that we have reviewed and i'll be giving them away on somewhere this september just look for the requirements on my epi page and join the raffle for that one and i hope you like the video guys don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and have a great day bye